It's the motherfucking deal, YouTube. Welcome to <coughs> Lazarian Sports Talk. Y'all uh, appreciate the, all the love and the support. Y'all sub up to uh, Dante Sports Talk live stream. I'm about to go live on now and stream on now in a uh, few minutes. So uh, let's get right into this game. <coughs> the Golden State Warriors survives and win uh, game five, 106 to 105. Uh, a thrilling game. <coughs> Great game by the Golden State Warriors. Great. Come back by the Golden State Warriors. Golden State, they showed they, I thought they showed their championship pedigree. Um, having Kevin Durant <coughs> go back out, sacrifice his calf to come back. Gave it all he had. He was hot in the first half of the game. Um, I think he uh, re aggravated his calf by when Serge Ibaka was guarding him. He wasn't, you can tell he wasn't coming back. And I thought the Toronto fans was very rude. I thought that was very inappropriate that they were uh, cheering when he was out. <clears throat> but other than that, I thought Golden State uh, played a great, decent game. Besides the last, besides on that two-minute run that Kawhi Leonard went on in the fourth quarter, I thought that I thought they I thought they was great. <clears throat> I thought Golden State was great. I thought Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson was lethal. Um, but I thought this game. Was more on the Raptors' poor defensive, poor defensive strategy in the fourth quarter. I thought that was more on them. I thought they stopped uh, switching on screens. Really, when Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson was coming off those out balls, I thought they stopped switching. Um, I thought they allowed too much penetration to Stephen Curry. I thought Demarcus Cousins gave Golden State a real boost. After he did not play at all in the first half. When Kevin Durant got hurt, that opened up more minutes for uh, DeMarcus Cousins. And I thought he played a heck of a ball game. I thought DeMarcus Cousins did really, really well. I thought he played great defense on uh, Sir, uh, Marcus Son when he drove to the basket and got a big steal. Uh, I thought Draymond Green stepped up, hit a big shot when they were down. I think when they were, when, uh, when they were, when they were uh, down by one and then he hit a big three to put them back up to... Uh, like I say, Quentin Cook hits a big three in the fourth quarter, in the third quarter. Uh, but like I say, it, I kind of got a sense that Toronto still is going to win this series. Whether if it's in game six or game seven, I thought, I think, I still got a sense Toronto will win this series. I think, uh, Golden State, I think Golden State showed pride tonight. I think they, they fought hard and they showed a championship pedigree. At least one or two more nights. But I, I really enjoy Golden State winning this game tonight. Real honestly, they deserve to win this game. But except the last two minutes of the fourth quarter, I have a huge problem with Toronto Raptors. Kawhi Leonard goes on that goes on that run. Two minutes, 30 seconds left to go in the game. You're about six, 103 to 97. The first, if you look at this game, in the fourth quarter, when the Raptors came back with Kawhi Leonard went on that spurt, you seen every time Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson would come off the screen, you seen a second Raptors defender right there. Steph, one it was one oh uh, three ninety seven. Stephen Curry comes off the screen. Marcus Saul had Iguodala in the corner. Iguodala has not uh, shot a whole basketball game. He has not have any confidence of shooting. Why are you not stepping up on the screen? Why are you just not stepping up and letting Stephen Curry shoot it? So that gets down to 103 to 100 all of a sudden. Then Raptors miss a shot. Kyle Lowry takes a poor three. Comes back down, starts a fast break. Draymond Green rotates it to uh, Iggy Dollar. He does not want the three. He skips it across the court to Klay Thompson. Kawhi Leonard runs at him. Klay Thompson pump fakes. He sets up. Bam. That's the lead right there. Bam. That's the lead right there. All of a sudden, it's gone. They get a backcourt violation. They score. All of a sudden, DeMarcus Cousins sets an illegal screen on Fred Van Bleak. I thought the uh, uh, Golden State Warriors did a great job of doubling Kawhi Leonard. I thought it was nobody really open on the court for Toronto. Kawhi Leonard, I mean, Kyle Lowry, Kyle Lowry, 
hit some big shots in this game. He did. Every time he would go to the lane, he would get DeMarcus Cousins on him. He would do that little stop, and then he would shoot that little turnaround shot. And DeMarcus Cousins couldn't do nothing about it. They tried their best to pick and roll his ass to death. They did it in some degree. I like Klay Thompson's effort. When Marcus Gasol tried to switch Kawhi Leonard on uh, DeMarcus Cousins, I like the effort of not wanting to switch and stand behind him and fight him back to get right there, get right that back at him. I like that effort by Klay Thompson. But I thought the Raptors folded in this game. I thought the defensive intensity had stopped in the last two minutes. I thought they stopped switching. They should have made Iggy Dollar shoot, but Iggy Dollar had no confidence in shoot. If you're Andre Iggy Dollar, game six, you need to think about this. And Draymond Green, you need to think about this. You're down 3-2. There's no pressure on you, really, if you're down 3-2. All the pressure is on the team. That's closing out the series. The pressure is on Toronto to close out the series in your building. So if you're Andre Iguodala and Draymond Green, each time you get an open shot, you know they're going to leave you open. Each time you get an open shot, especially in the Oracle, you have to shoot. You have to take chances. That almost bit you in the ass tonight. That almost bit you in the ass. Steve Kerr had to make an adjustment. He had to put Quentin Cook in. It's hard to switch defense for offense. It's hard. You will take great offense over good defense any day. Over great defense any day. You will take great offense over great defense any day of the week. But if you're if you're uh, Iggy and if you're Jerry Green, you have to shoot those open threes. You have to take your chances. You have to take chances. You know they're going to leave you open. You know they're going to make an adjustment to stop Klay Thompson and Stephen Curry. You're going to have to take chances. You're down 3-2. The pressure is on the team to close out the series. You have to shoot those shots if they're open. You have to take those chances. And I thought really Steve Curry put Quinn Cook in too late to try to get an extra shoot on the floor. But he trusted in Iguodala. He trusted in the defensive abilities of Andre Iguodala. And I thought... When Kawhi Leonard goes on that run by himself, Kawhi Leonard is a legit superstar, man. Kawhi Leonard is a legit superstar. Let's not get this straight. Let's get this straight. He was a superstar when he was started off in San Antonio. He was already an accomplished superstar. This guy is a superstar, bro. That two-minute run by itself, that was sick, bro. Siakam, I couldn't find him in the game. Norman Powell had a big dunk. But otherwise, I couldn't find him. Marcus Saul so, so had a good first half. But this was a big win by the Golden State Warriors. 106-105. They show championship pedigree. They show poise. They show heart. They showed the effort. They never, Every time Toronto got on a big run, got on a run, they, count, they, they came back and punched. They won the fight. They came back and punched. You got to give credit for Golden State not laying down. They could have folded. They could have gave up when Kevin Durant went down went down again. But give up, give up a great coaching. Good coaching by Steve Curl. And great leadership by Klay Thompson and Steph Curry of leading the troops down the stretch. Let's get right into the stats. 34 to 28 first quarter. First quarter. Uh Kevin Durant had 11 of them, I think, in the first quarter. 28-28, second quarter. Uh Golden State was up by six in the halftime. 62 to 56. 22. It was an even first third quarter, 22. To uh, 20, 22 to 22, and the Raptors win the fourth quarter by 5 27 to uh, 22. Uh, 46 percent from the uh, field free throw line, 71 percent, 47 percent from three. They were hot all night, all night in the game. They were hot all night. They started, they hit their first five threes of the game. Uh, 27 assists. I expect to see Golden State great ball movement. Uh, 38 rebounds, 44% from Toronto, 77% from the free throw line, 25%. They shot badly from the free throw line. From the free throw line, not much ball movement tonight. Uh, not much ball movement by Toronto. 42 uh rebounds. They did out rebound them by four. Uh, Kevin Durant, 11 points. He had those in the first quarter. Uh, he had those in the first in the first quarter. He had his first two threes. Uh. 
Stephen Curry, who had a big, who had a big three to lower momentum to cut, put them with down three. I think we down 97 to 103. He hits a uh, three coming off a little pick, coming off a little all ball. He hits a three right there. That was a big three in the game. Clay Thompson, who pretty much hit the game ceiling three, game winning three, to put them up 106 to uh, 103. He pretty much did that. Uh, 26, four and six. Draymond Green, almost a triple double, two rebounds away, had a big three in the moment of the game in the fourth quarter when he smirked and laughed. He had a big three. Uh, 10 points. He had, uh, eight, eight, eight assists and 11 rebounds. Uh, Iggy Dolly, you have to take chances and start shooting the ball. Um, five, three and one. Kevon Looney, uh, went out with a chest injury. Demarcus Cousins, who I thought was very, very huge in this game, uh, give him credit because he wasn't starting, uh, in this game, uh, when, Kevin Durant got out of uh, the game. That opened up an opportunity for him, but he took advantage of it. 14 and 6. Uh, Quinn Cook uh, had uh, three points in this game. Jordan Bell had a nice little floater. Uh, that was it. Uh, Kawhi Leonard went on that big mini run, went on that big spurt. Uh, 26 points, 6 assists, and 11 rebounds. Uh, Siakam, 12 points, uh, 4 uh, rebounds. I need more from you. Uh, Kyle Lowry, uh, who missed the shot, game winning shot badly, pretty much. Out the side of the backboard, 18 and 6. Marcus Saul, 17. That's a good game, pretty much. Serge Ibaka, 15. He was on the offensive glass, pretty much. Uh, Danny Green didn't show up tonight. Uh, Fred Van Bleek, uh, 11 points. Norman Powell, 2 points. That was the dub. Uh, that's the end of the video, guys. Give me a comment, like, and subscribe. What you think about this Warriors win? Uh, 106 to 105. Warriors will uh, force the game six back in the Oracle on Thursday night. Thank you, guys. Uh, Warriors show their heart. They show their poise. They show their championship pedigree. And I thought Toronto gave up this game, really. Uh, I thought they made, they stopped switching. Uh, like I say, the three by Steph Curry coming off a pick. I thought that was big. I thought Marcus Gasol should have switched. Iggy Dolly, you knew he, you had him in the corner. He should have switched. He had no confidence in shooting the ball. Um, then Klay Thompson. I mean, I wouldn't mind uh, Kawhi Leonard jumping at that. You try, you try to do whatever uh, you could do to try to uh, bother someone's shot, but the, uh, the pump fake got him. Then he ends up shooting it and makes him the game with the shot. Thank you, guys. Uh, let me know. Give me your thoughts in the comment section about this game. 106-105, Warriors force the game six. Uh, Raptors still up 3-2. to two. They will try to uh, close it out in the Oracle. Thank you, guys. I'm out. One love. Peace. Catch me on Dante Sports on live streams.